good. Yes. Now that's how you do it in a test too. Good. Nice. And try, uh-uh, keep him straight unless you ask him to bring his haunches in. Left rein, outside rein. There. When you straighten the horse, pay, make sure you always bring the shoulder ahead or in line with the haunches. Okay. So take a little shoulder forward. Exactly. But make sure that you ask shoulder four and that you keep the outside rein against the neck, that the outside rein tells the shoulder to stay a little bit, you know, over that way. Otherwise, if he gets hollow on the right and then he likes to bring his haunches in. Good. Nice. And then somewhere again, walk. Make yourself tall, light, close your left hand and pop. Good. Do that again. And try this time to use the less hand. You basically stay on the contact ring that you have and you make yourself taller, a little bit lighter, without that you push yourself out of the saddle. And then you say, ha, ha, wa. Yes. Now that was good. Felt that? Yeah. Because if we all of a sudden say, okay, now walk, or even every downward transition, you half halt, half halt, half halt, soft. Yes. Good. And trap. Relax your right arm. Good. Yes. Serpentine with three loops. Transition to walk before the center line. After the center line, again, trot. Now, ha, 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 walk. Good. Almost too much. Trot. Now already start. Oh, oh. Yes. Oh, would have been a perfect transition to haul. See, there you got to ease up a little sooner. About that? I dug in a little bit. And again. That's good. She's got her horse out there, so now he's all distracted, so that's good. That's good. Next time when you come, we put ten horses in here and outside. Good. And ha, ha, wa. Okay, again, you have too much half halt. Sit a little bit lighter and really ride the walk in the downward transition. I mean, he comes back really nicely, don't get me wrong, but he comes back too much. Too much. Make yourself tall, light. Yes, that was good. Exactly. Good. Yes, good. And try. Right leg, flex and right. Good. Because when you flex, then you can half halt a little bit stronger on the outside if you need to. Right. That, that's how you can keep his attention. Because if you don't flex first, and then you half halt to keep his attention, they often know, weasel their way out. Do that one again. Yeah, good. Yes. Center line. And halt. 
Make yourself tall, light, and hot. Nice and square. Uh-uh, it was good. Right height now. Yes, you did. Do it again. He was square. And then you somehow pushed. He's pretty good if I let him go and just stick it. He's pretty balanced. You know? Uh-huh. It's when I overwrite. <laughs> and again, center line. Good. Right ring. No, nice crooked. Make sure that you have equal weight on your stirrups and even contact and then just sit in the center of your saddle. Good. A little bit more trot. Good. And again, center line. Left leg long. Step down a little bit. Good. Now equal weight. Relax your left leg a little bit. Yes. Little step with the left hand. A little bit. But that's okay. So make sure when you come, especially coming from the left, you are stronger in your left leg than in your right leg. Did you know that? Yeah. So you got to, especially when we want an open line, a straight one, and we want to halt, if you put more left leg on than right leg, he will step out to the right. Right. Yeah. With his haunches for sure. He thinks I'm asking for leg yield. Yeah, he's like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll move, move over because you're pushing Now me. I will. <laughs> yeah, always when we don't need it, they're all of a sudden like, oh. If the shoulder would step out to the right, you would need to use more right ring. <laughs> yes. Good. Good. There you go. Think that you want to step down with both feet on the ground. Perfect. All right. Give him a little break. Now that was really nice. Good job.